All right, let's look at some word problems with coins. So in this one we have Tom has a bag with 32 coins consisting of dimes and nickels worth $2.80. How many of each coin does he have? All right, so we have to determine what our variable is. So we're going to let x equal the number of we'll just say dimes okay and uh, I just let x equal the number of dimes we could have let x equal the number of nickels it doesn't matter which one you let x equal you can let it equal either one all right so if x is the num number of dimes then what would be the number of nickels okay all right so so let's look at this so let's suppose that we have say two dimes okay and and this and this is not how many this is not what the answers are going to be in the problem I'm just using this as an example to show you how we're going to get the number of nickels so let's just suppose that we have two two dimes okay then how many nickels do we have well we have 32 coins total so that means we would have 30 nickels well how did we get that well we did the number of coins minus the number of dimes that tells us how many nickels we have so that would mean if we have x dimes then we have 32 minus x nickels okay all right so let me erase this all right so let's look at this so the amount of money I have in dimes plus the amount of money I have in nickels is equal to two dollars and eighty cents so how do we determine how much money we have in dimes well it's the value of a dime point one times the number of dimes okay so uh, if you if it was dollars dollars would be um, if you had a dollar that would be the value would be one uh, a quarter would be point two five twenty five cents dime is point one and then the value of a nickel that's five cents so that would be point zero five times the number of nickels so this is the amount of money in dimes plus the amount of money in nickels okay and that is going to equal the total amount of money two dollars and eighty cents okay so it's the amount of money in dimes plus the amount of money in nickels equals 280. Now let me erase this so we can work the problem out. All right. So how do we solve how do we solve an equation that has decimals in it? Well, we want to get rid of the decimals. <clears throat> So if we multiply something by 10, that moves the decimal one place to the right. If we multiply something by 100, that moves the decimal two places to the right. And 1,000 moves it three places to the right. So you can see here, we need to move it one place to the right, here two places, and here 
two places or you could just move it one place and that would be fine 2.8 2.8 would be the same thing as 2.80 all right so the the most number of places I need to move the decimal is twice okay so that means I need to multiply everything by a hundred so I have a hundred times point one X plus a hundred times point zero five times thirty two minus x equals a hundred times two point eight zero alright so I'm multiplying this point one times a hundred so I need to move the decimal two places to the right so that's going to give me ten x plus and then move the decimal two places to the right that's going to give me five times thirty two minus x. Now make sure you do, when you multiply the 100 times the point zero 0.05 and get the 5, you do not multiply the 100 times the 32 and the x. You don't distribute the 100. You just 100 times point zero 0.05 is 5 and then 5 times this will distribute the 5. And that's going to equal and then I move the decimal two places so that's 280. All right. So now we just solve. So I'm going to distribute the 5. So I get 10x plus, and then 5 times 32 is 160 minus 5x equals 280. Let me move this up some. So now I'm going to combine the like terms here. So 10x minus 5x is 5x plus 160 equals 280. And then I will subtract 160 to uh, not 600. I'll subtract 160 to both sides. And so that's going to get me 5x equals 120 and then I will divide both sides by 5 and so that's going to give me x is equal to 24 okay so 24 that's equal to x and X, you can see here, X is the number of dimes. So I have 24 dimes, and then the number of nickels is 32 minus X. So 32 minus 24 is equal to 8 nickels and so here's my solution I've got 24 dimes and 8 nickels alright let's take a look at one more it's it says Dalton has 20 coins consisting of dimes and quarters worth three dollars and twenty four cents okay he has four less quarters than dimes. How many of each type of coin does he have? Alright, so if we have four less quarters than dimes, what do we need to let x equal? Well, they tell us, what do they tell us? They tell us about the quarters. They don't really tell us anything about dimes because they tell us he has four less quarters than dimes. So we want to let x equal the one that we know the least about. Okay, So we know the least about the number of dimes because it tells us about the quarters. So x is going to equal the number 
of dimes. And so the number of quarters, what is that going to be? Well, he has four less quarters. So if he has four less quarters than dimes, then that means he's got x minus 4. So for example, let's suppose he has 10 dimes, then how many quarters would he have? 4 less than that, 10 minus 4, which equals 6 quarters. Okay, so that's where the x minus 4 came from. All right. Now, we need to set up our equation. So the amount of money we have in dimes plus the amount of money we have in quarters is equal to $3.20. So the amount of money in dimes is 0.1 times the number of dimes, the, the dollar amount of a dime times the number of dimes plus the amount, the dollar amount of quarters times the number of quarters and that equals the total which is three dollars and twenty cents. Alright so we have to solve this equation now. So just like in the last problem you can see the most number of places I need to move the decimal is twice. Okay, So I've got to multiply everything by a hundred. All right, so 100 times 0.1, that's going to give me 10. And then 100 times 0.25, that's going to give me 25. And just like in the last problem, multiply the 100 times the 0.25, but you don't distribute the 100 here. You multiply this times this, and then whatever you get here, which is 25, then you will distribute the 25. Okay, and that equals... 320. Alright, so now let's let's distribute the 25 and so I've got 10x plus 25x minus 100 equals 320. Let's move this up a little bit. And so now I'm going to combine my like terms here. So that's 35x minus 100 equals 320. And then I'll add 100 to both sides. And so that's going to give me 35x equals 420. And then I'll divide both sides by 35. And so I get x equals 12. And so x, you can see, is the number of dimes. So I have 12 dimes. And so the number of quarters is x minus 4. So x, which is... 12 minus 4, which is equal to 8 quarters. And you can see that the 12 plus 8 is equal to 20, which is how many coins we had, 20 coins. Okay, And so this would be our answer here. 12 dimes and 8 quarters. So I hope this video helped. Uh, check out my other videos. And thanks.